Hey, we're trying to, on my blogs, trying to do a little iPod podcast deal where you can actually see me and hear me. Uh, I want you to know I want to thank you guys for praying for me. Uh, you can tell I'm feeling better. I got my Dallas Cowboy jersey on. Go Cowboys. I um, want you to know that I just went through three weeks where I was laid out. Um, I was in the hospital five or six days, IVs. They did a spinal tap. Eventually, they concluded I had viral meningitis. Don't know how I got it, but I'm around so many people, no telling. So y'all quit sneezing on me, coughing on me, and don't shake my hand again. That was, that was kind of a joke. But here's the deal. I am better. I'm about 80%. Still dealing with some headaches, a little bit of um, energy, trying to keep my energy up. Um, I was able to go to Tucson, Arizona. Spoke nine times in three days. Um, we saw, I don't know how many we saw saved, but probably 75 or so. Uh, the schools were great. Um, really, really powerful times. And uh, God fell in Tucson, Arizona. I was able to go home and rest for the next week. I went to Arkansas. I actually went to Nashville, Arkansas, and uh, did a fifth quarter. I actually got sick on Friday night. I threw up things. I ate like since kindergarten or the first grade. It was not pretty. I was not able to speak that Friday night, but Saturday I spoke twice. Um, we saw, I don't know how many saw saved, 50 or 60 saved just in that weekend. We drove all night. We headed to Springfield, Missouri, and I was at Stonebridge Church, and we saw 40 or 50 saved that week, and uh, just God did some really good things. I wasn't in schools. I actually spoke at a, a beauty college to, to about 40 or 50 students there, and, and um, even though I didn't really preach, preach, God really met met with us in, in that college. Um, God's just doing some great things and uh, I was able to to go home after that week and uh, I believe I headed to Kansas after that and um, I just was in Kansas um, we saw uh, we saw I think 135 saved on the last night we saw 216 people saved for that week spoke in several schools um, it's just incredible what God's been doing. Oh, you know what? I forgot one. I actually, uh, right before Kansas, I spoke in Waco, Texas, or Mejia, Texas, M-E-X-I-A. I don't know how they came up with that. But I spoke in a, in a couple schools, and that night uh, we did a fifth quarter. And at the fifth quarter, we saw, um, I think it was 145 students saved at a fifth quarter in Mejia, Texas. It was incredible. And um, that's when I I flew out. Where'd I go from Mejia, Texas? Yeah, I went to Kansas. Of course, I just already got you caught up. I forgot to tell you, I did a couples deal on that Saturday as I flew in before I spoke in, in the schools there and uh, spoke in, in uh, First Baptist in uh, Augusta, Kansas. Uh, it was a great time with the couples and uh, had some of the best barbecue in the, in the world. I don't know if that's healing me, but it sure was good. Um, I've left uh, Kansas, was able to go home for a day, and now I'm in Virginia. And you can see, I don't know if you can see behind me, but uh, I was born in Portsmouth, Virginia, and I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> I'm glad you got that on the video. Oh, God, it's all over my hand. Hang on. But anyway, it's live, not Memorex. Well, no, it's Memorex. I'm live right now. Um, I know that um, we got here in Virginia, about 130 students. I think we saw about 10 or 12 students saved. Had a great, great weekend. Uh, beautiful weather. God's just um, pouring himself out. This year, I think I've seen about six or 7,000 people saved since January. Uh, we're winding up this year. Um, God's opened up some doors. I'm going to be heading to, uh, to Tennessee to do um, Hearts on Fire in Gatlinburg on uh, November the 16th, Thanksgiving is coming up, uh, means turkey and pumpkin pie and all kinds of great stuff. Uh, I want to read a couple scriptures. Uh, keep praying for me. Uh, I am doing better. Uh, pray for Wild Weeks, uh, our summer camps next year that they just fill up. And um, just pray for our travel. Uh, I hope you have great holidays. I want to read a scripture out of Colossians chapter 2, verses um, 6 and 7 says this. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to live in obedience to Him. 
let your roots grow down let your roots grow down into him and draw up nourishment from him so you will grow in faith uh, you'll grow in your faith strong vigorous in the truth you were taught let your lives overflow with thanksgiving for all he has done let me see what Ephesians 3:17 says um, it just kind of reference and I pray that Christ will be more and more at home in your hearts I like this as you trust in him may your roots grow down grow may your roots go down deep all right go deep down into the soil of God's marvelous love and may you understand oh I love this may you have the power to understand as all God's people should how wide how long how high and how deep his love really is Ephesians 4 talks about maturity and growing up he says no longer live like children forever changing your minds about what we believe because someone has told us something different or because someone has cleverly lied to us and made the lie sound like the truth instead we will hold to the truth and love becoming more and more in every way like Christ who is the head of the of his body the church under his direction the whole body is fitted together perfectly and each part does its own special work and helps the others grow. I want to tell you, I hope that you'll grow in Jesus more and more, that your faith, that you'll walk in his truth. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. First Thessalonians says, In everything give thanks, for this is God's will concerning you in Christ Jesus. Romans 8.28 says, um, All things work together for the good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So I hope that you will find your purpose in Jesus, your calling in life. I pray that you'll serve him. I pray that you'd lift him up. Um, we're gonna, I'm looking forward to the rest of November and December. I love the holidays. Hope the Cowboys, you know, be a Cowboy fan. But more than anything, be a Jesus fan. I challenge you to do that. Um, you know, again, keep praying for me. God is doing some great things in Ken Freeman ministry. And I know that there's nothing good about me. Anything good about me is Jesus. So you keep praying for the good of God in my life, that Jesus will be lifted up and all men will be drawn unto him. Have great holidays. Oh, I'm sure I'll be doing another podcast here or, or video. And uh, just go to my website, kenfreeman.com. And I've got a MySpace. I don't know why, but go there. See you. The Lord bless you.